Hello friends, in this video we will see the continuity equation in polar coordinate. Here I have chosen one small fluid element. The fluid element is a dr and is having this radius of r from this origin. The velocity component in the direction of radius, this is a ur and velocity in the direction of tangential, this is u theta. So now here we will apply the rate of mass flow in and mass flow out through all the directions, radial direction, axial direction and this tangential direction. So first of all for the explanation point of view I have drawn the, all the three uh, different figure for all the three directions radial, axial and tangential. So first of all we have chosen uh, the radial direction. So in the radial direction this A, B, C, D this is a phase for mass in and this in back E, F, G, H this is the phase for mass out. Actually. The distance from the origin to this uh, first inlet phase this is R and dr this is a width of fluid element. So now here just for this understanding point of view I have drawn this figure. So now here uh, this dz uh, this is the height of the fluid element and uh, this uh, width we can say this is with the dr and length is dz. Now if you see the distance of A to B, this is R theta, R is a radius and it's making an angle theta, so it becomes R d theta. Now we will see how much rate of mass in in this uh, phase. So now let's see what the equation will be. So here mass of fluid entering in the phase A, B, C, D per unit time, this is nothing but this is rho. This is the density of flowing fluid, u the velocity in the direction of this radius and a this is the area from which the fluid is entering. So m dot is equal to rho into velocity in our direction into area. So now rho velocity in that direction is ur and area is nothing but this is r d theta into dz. Now again I will rearrange so rho into ur into r d theta into dz this is the mass in in the radial direction in the phase a b c d now from here we'll check again how much rate of mass change in r direction so for that change in mass in radial direction this is the dou upon dou r inside this bracket m dot into dr so m dot is nothing but this is mass in so we know how much mass is in this is your rho into ur into r d theta into dz. So simply I will put this value here dou upon dou r inside the bracket rho ur r d theta into dz into dr. This r d theta and ur this is a function of r here itself and dz and dr this is constant. Now mass of fluid leaving the phase E F G H per unit time. So this is quantity of mass in plus change in mass in radial direction. So this is the total quantity of mass out from the phase E F G H. Now gain of mass in R direction per unit time. This is mass in minus mass out from the phase E F G H. So we have write down the expression of uh, mass in and mass out. So the mass in rho u r r d theta into t z minus rho u r r d theta into t z minus dou upon dou r inside the bracket rho u r r d theta into t z into t. First two terms are constant so we will cancel out and the next the rest part of the expression is minus dou upon dou r rho into u r into r d theta into t z into t r. Now here again I will rearrange the expression rho u r into r is inside this bracket because u r rho and r this are varying and d theta dz and dr this is constant. Now here we will multiply and divide the r just to change this quantity as a constant. So now here now if you will see this r d theta into dz into dr this is nothing but this is the quantity of volume 
of your fluid element. So this whole terms we can write this is your dV here. So in the next expression we can write minus 1 upon r do upon do r rho u r into r into dV. So this is the quantity of mass gain in a radial direction. Now consider the flow of fluid in the tangential direction. So here from this uh, we can clear in the sense the fluid is entering from this part and out from this part. So now mass of fluid entering the phase d b f g per unit time this is velocity rho and area. So rho into velocity in u direction is u theta and area is dr into dz. So this is the final expression of mass in from this phase b d f g. Now mass of fluid out from the phase C A E H. This is nothing but this is rho into velocity in the direction of theta into area plus change of mass of the direction of theta. So in the same pattern we have written the expression rho u theta into area of C A E H plus do upon do theta rho u theta into T R into D Z into D theta. So the area is nothing but this is your dr dz. So this whole terms it represents the quantity of mass out from this phase. Now gain of mass in the direction of theta per unit time. This is mass in and mass out. So this is the quantity rho u theta dr into dz is the quantity of mass in minus rho u theta dr dz minus do upon do theta rho u theta into dr into dz into d theta. So again both these two terms are constant so cancel out. So rest part of the expression is minus do upon do theta u theta rho inside the bracket and dr into dz into d theta will take outside. Again we have to multiply with this r and divide by r just to convert this terms into this constant. So this is your dv. So dv is equal to r d theta dz into dr. So final expression is minus 1 upon r do upon do theta rho into u theta into dv. So this is the quantity of mass gain in theta direction. Similarly we will consider the, the last direction that is the axial direction. So this is your axial direction which is a uh, uh, shown by this green color. So you can see the fluid in and this is the direction of fluid out. So here again we will see how much mass of fluid entering the phase A, B, F, E per unit time. So this is rho into velocity in that direction into area. So rho velocity in that direction is u z area of a b f e this is dr into d theta r d theta so rho u z dr into r d theta this is the quantity of mass in in the phase a b f e now mass of fluid out from the phase c d g h per unit time this is rho into velocity in that direction into area plus rate of change of mass. So rho uz into area of abfe plus do upon do z rho uz into dr dz into d theta. So now the area of abfe is dr into r d theta and this is the same we have written here. Now gain of mass in the z direction per unit time. This is mass in and mass out. So this is mass in rho uz dr into r d theta minus rho uz dr into r d theta minus do upon do z rho into uz into dr into r d theta into dz. Again both these two terms are same so we will cancel out and the remaining part of the expression is 
minus dou upon 2z rho into uz into dr into r d theta into dz minus dou upon 2z keep it inside this bracket rho into uz and the rest the part of the expression will take out and this becomes as a constant dv so minus dou upon 2z rho into uz into dv this is the quantity of mass gain in your z direction once we know uh, all the mass gain in all the direction to write down the expression of the net gain of mass per unit time and that quantity it would be equal to the rate of uh, increase of mass of fluid in L. so rate of mass accumulation in control volume that is going to the sum of mass of accumulation in your each direction so dou upon dou t into v into rho that is equal to minus 1 upon r dou upon dou r rho into ur into r dv radial direction this is the mass gain in your tangential direction and this is the quantity uh, gain in your axial direction so now here actually uh, this is a volume and this is a constant so we have to write down the expression again in this fashion and from here we will cancel out the dv because dv is a constant throughout all this uh, expression so the rest part of the equation is do rho upon do t that is equal to minus 1 upon r do upon do r rho into u r into r minus 1 upon r do upon do theta inside the bracket rho into d theta minus do upon do z rho into u z so if i arrange this expression then we can write in this way so do rho upon do t plus 1 upon r do upon do r rho into u r into r so here actually uh, we have the two terms which are varying with this r so we have to simplify these terms so for that we have to simplify by uh, partial differentiation so 1 upon r this as usual we have written here and now we we'll take this r as a constant and differentiate this function with respect to this one so dou upon dou r rho into u r plus in the next terms we will keep it this is a constant and differentiate with respect to this r so now here we have to simplify again so dou r upon dou r is cancelled out and from this r to 1 r is cancelled out and uh, here if we we'll again rearrange this expression so dou rho upon dou t plus now dou upon dou r rho into u r plus rho into u r upon this r will come plus 1 upon r dou upon dou theta rho into u theta plus rho upon rho into u z that is equal to 0. So now here again if we re-modify this expression according to the condition if the condition is given your flow is steady state flow then dou rho upon dou t will cancel out from here the new expression will become dou upon dou r rho into u r plus rho into u r upon r plus 1 upon r dou upon dou theta rho into u theta plus dou upon dou z rho into u z is equal to 0. So this is the expression in its polar coordinates when with the flowing fluid in a steady flow in its nature. Now here uh, we can again remodify according to the conditions whatever the direction is given suppose if we are going to walk in this two dimensional then we can consider any two dimensional in which flow is flowing and the rest third one we can cancel out. So this is the way through which we can write down our continuity equation in polar coordinates. Thank you friends I hope you can understand how we can find out the expression of continuity in polar coordinates. Thank you friends. If you like it, then please share and subscribe with your friends.